Let's understand what's a fraction. You can tell your mom if you want to eat the whole cake or half of it. But if you want to eat this much or maybe just this much, then how would you ask? These are the fractions of the whole cake. Fraction means part of a whole. To understand it more, let's take example of a chocolate. If you want to eat all of it, then you say you want to eat whole chocolate. But if you want to share it with your friend and you divide it in half, then each portion is a fraction of full chocolate. So you break the chocolate into two pieces and we write the fraction for each piece as 1 by 2. Here 2 is the number of total pieces and 1 piece is your share. We call this fraction a half. Now, if you want to divide the chocolate among three friends like this, then each piece is a fraction of the whole chocolate. Now, total pieces of this chocolate is three and your share would be one piece of it. So, the fraction for each piece is 1 by 3. 1 by 3. 1 by 3. The fraction for each piece is 1 by 3 and we call it a third. This time let's divide it among four friends like this. Let's break the chocolate to divide among four friends. Now we have four portions. So the fraction for each portion is, let's count total number of portions. One, two, three and four. So total portions are four and your share is one portion of it. So each portion represents 1 by 4 of a chocolate. And we call this fraction 1 by 4 a quarter. So if I have a whole and I divide it into 4 parts, 1 two three four one two three four and I shaded the part which I want to eat so what would be the fraction of the shaded part total number of parts are one two three four one two three four so I would write total number of parts at the bottom and number of shaded part which is 1, 2, 3. In this also 1, 2, 3. I write and at the top. So the fraction for the shaded part is 3 by 4 or 3 fourths. Now can you help me write the fraction for the shaded part here? Total number of pieces are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we write 8 at the bottom. Now number of shaded pieces are just 1. So we write 1 at the top. So the fraction for the shaded part is 1 by 8. The same way we can write the fraction for the unshaded part. Total number of pieces are 8. So we write 8 at the bottom. 
and at the top we write the number of unshaded part so the number of unshaded part is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we write 7 at the top and the fraction for the unshaded part is 7 by 8 I hope by now you understand how to read and write the fractions. In our next video, we will understand how to compare the fractions.